adoring humankind hears not the love song which they bring. O oh, hush the noise and cease your strife to hear the angels sing. For Merry Christmas, and welcome to Christmas Eve at St. Paul's United. This year has felt like one long journey to Bethlehem. It has been an arduous journey through this pandemic, and it's far from over. But like the stories that we tell tonight about Jesus' birth, it is time for us to stay in the present, in the moment, and celebrate. Celebrate that God is with us. I am Denise Davis Taylor, and I'm in diaconal ministry with this wonderful faith community. us, Christmas this year will be like no other. It isn't safe for us to gather as family or with friends or to travel. And like all good stories, the birth narratives of Jesus open up the possibility to hear them in a new way as we reflect on the circumstances that we find ourselves in now. Mary and Joseph were not with their family and friends or even in their own hometown when Jesus was born. They were tired from a long journey. They were with strangers in a place they didn't know. And the stories say God's love was there with them. In the greatest mystery of Christmas, God was with them in their tiny, helpless, vulnerable, infant child. Many of us are tired. Some are sick and recovering. Others are grieving all that has been lost. And many of us are still anxious and worried for the future. And still, there are things for us to celebrate from this year. We are here. We made it to Christmas. Tonight, we celebrate God who has been with us all these months in the people who have cared for us and fed us who have done the research to bring to us the vaccines that are even now being administrated to those who will most need them. We have learned so much this year about how to connect with one another in the world. And there are new possibilities emerging every day in this new world that we find ourselves in. The mystery of God's presence is almost palpable if we care to notice.
It has been many months since the children and the elders of this congregation have seen one another. And so this Christmas, we thought we would have a unique way of connecting the two together. Tonight, you will see videos that are precious and sweet and hilarious that the children and their families have made. You will see and hear music and art by youth in the congregation. You will hear readings and singing of families together in our beloved community. What a privilege it is to have the resources and the energy to share the hope and the joy of this night with you. We begin by lighting the Christ candle. Still, 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 the night is calm and still. The Christ child in his crib lies sleeping. Angels around him watch our keeping. Still, 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 the night is calm and still. is gleaming, spreading its arms throughout the night, living in the light. Come share its gladness, God's radiant love is burning bright, living in the light. When comes pouring into the darkest place. It hurts our eyes to see the glow. Sometimes a word of hope reminds us of our fears, our memories and tears. gleaming, spreading its arms throughout the night, living in the light. Come share its gladness, God's radiant love is burning bright, living in the light. When night is round, and every shadow grows A star is there to light our way It tells a story of Jesus Who came near to say God's light will ever stay arms throughout the night, living in the light. Come share its gladness, God's radiant love is burning bright, living in the Jesus. 
Luke verses 1 through 7. About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Quirinus was governor, governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be accounted for. So Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judea, David's town, for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary, his fiancée, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the hostel. There were sheep herders camping in the neighborhood. They had sent night watchers over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angel stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, Don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A savior has been born in David's town, in David's town. a savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you are to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket lying in a manger. At once, the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights and peace to all on earth. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that had taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. 
The shepherds returned glorifyingly and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it has been told to them. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild sleep in heavenly peace sleep in heavenly peace let us pray God of hope and healing, as you came to us in the love of the Christ child in Bethlehem, so we come to you with love and concern for the world. In this time of quiet and contemplation, we remember families that live close to the edge of survival, worrying about where their next meal will come from and where they will find shelter. We remember those who will spend Christmas alone or in hospital or weighed down by grief. We remember those who work this day while we rest. We remember those who have lost their sense of joy and wonder and whose vision is clouded by cynicism or despair. We remember those who face the year ahead with fear and anxiety because of the pandemic and the uncertainty that surrounds us. We remember those who celebrate the birth of a new life, a new love, or a new way of being. We remember those whom we have loved and who loved us, who now dwell in the eternal joy of your presence. During this time of darkness, we give thanks for the light, for lengthening days and for the light that is Christ, who showed us all a brighter path to walk and who invites us all to live in the light. Amen. From the realms of glory, wing your flight o'er all the earth. He who sang creation story now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Shepherds in the Watching o'er your flocks by night God with us is now residing And there shines the infant light Come and worship, come and worship Worship Christ the newborn King Safety for the unbending Watching Worship Christ the newborn 
God bless you, merry gentle ones, with sweet singing o'er the plains, from angels bending near the earth. Sing out the wonders of God's love. Go tell it on the mountains, your tidings of comfort and joy, peace on earth and goodwill to all people. And when silent night falls, may you sleep in heavenly peace.